Welcome to the basement. I'm Matt and I want to take a minute in this video to kind of show off this box here. Very unassuming to most of you. It'll probably mean very little, but that's okay because I think a few of you might get a kick out of this. Now, if, you, if you've been following me for a while, you know that when it comes to video equipment, there's nothing more that I like than the late 70s, early 80s, big, heavy, top-loading VCRs. And when it comes to Betamax players, well, you see, like the SL6200, which is in my beautiful Sony LV1901, or the Sony SL7200, this one's the 7200A. Those are some of my favorite pieces. And back in the day when those came out, 75, 76, there was no VHS at the time. VHS was right on the brink of coming out in 76. These predated that though. There was no uh, home video rental stores, no Blockbuster, nothing like that existed yet. There wasn't even really movies on cassette that you could buy and play in these machines. These machines were simply made to record stuff off of TV so that you could watch it later. It's what's referred to as a time-shifting device. Back then, if there was a show, a movie that was coming on TV that you wanted to watch and you couldn't, you had some other plan, something else to do, and you couldn't watch it, this was finally the answer to that problem. So it was able to allow you to record whatever you wanted to watch and then have it on tape so that you go watch it later. And in order to do that, in 1975, these would have been the tapes you would have gotten. So, these are the Sony K60s. I've got here one that is open. The seal has been broken on this one, but the other 47 are still sealed. Now, K60, 60 is how, how many minutes this thing records. It only records for an hour. Uh, the thought behind that was most shows were only 30 minutes to an hour long, so all you needed was a K60 tape. That was part of the downfall of Betamax because later on, when VCR, VHS VCRs started coming along, uh, you know, they wanted you to be able to record a whole football game onto one tape you can't do that in 60 minutes you need a much longer tape and so that's one of the ways that vhs was able to uh, finally beat out betamax quality might have been better you know size might have been better everything else might have been better vhs tape cheaper and you could fit more stuff on it and that's one of the things that the average joe was more interested in so this would have been the tape you would have used if you had one of these machines. And like I said, there are 48 of them in here. And inside this big box, check out this one. This one has a handle on it. Are sealed smaller 12 piece boxes. I think this one has a handle on it so it'll be easier to get that first one out and then once you have the first one out the rest of them you can just grab so check that out sealed it's perforated over here you would have to rip this in order to open this up which i'm not going to do and on the inside there are 12 more completely sealed k60 tapes now why why is this special besides it being the first real tape that was ever used in home to record stuff from the tv well these tapes are pretty hard to find not many people had a machine like this back in the day or even a standalone later sony sl7200 betamax player that they could use these tapes in so finding these tapes with pre with a recorded video on it is hard to do finding them sealed in an original box like this i have never seen before and to me i think this is pretty incredible so as you can see, there are three of them that are still completely sealed in really good condition. And then the guy I bought this from, I believe he, he opened this set so he could check them out. And so here you go. Here's what it looks like on the inside. This one's a little torn up, which, which is still fine. 
and all of these are still sealed K60s. Not only did they have K60 as an option, they also had K30 as an option, which only recorded 30 minutes of video onto it. Um, most people just went and got the K60 and thought if I'm gonna record a 30 minute show, I'll put two shows on the same tape. So to me, these are really special because these would have only been used for beta one players. So we've got the SL6200 that's inside this Sony LV1901. And then we have like a standalone uh, SL7200. Only would have recorded on beta one. These would have been the go-to tapes that would have been around back in the day. Over the years, uh, beta did catch up. But by that point, they had already had a name that they didn't record much per tape. VHS got the upper hand on that and started, started winning the battle between Betamax and VHS. But this is an awesome, absolutely amazing addition to my collection. It's going to look so good next to the LV1901 because it's like uh, it captures a point in history before we had movie rental stores before you could buy movies on on tape a point where you only had a vcr to record stuff off the tv so that you could watch it again later and from that point on things have changed so dramatically from video stores blockbuster now we're at netflix all these streaming services and really this is this is the tipping point of bringing movies into your own home. And I love that. It's part of the history. Part of the reason I love these, these old machines like this is because they, they were back in the day when things were much simpler while also being much more difficult, much harder to get. It took some discipline. It took some, some patience for you to finally get that gratification. It was not instant gratification. It was something you had to work for. And I don't know, there's something charming about that, but maybe I'm just old fashioned. So there you have it. A full case of original, for the most part, all sealed, K60 Betamax tapes. If you ever see any of these in person and want to send them my way, Please do so. They will be loved and cherished in my personal collection for a long time. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned a little bit of something. Thanks for watching.